next one? Right. Yep. So A2, you have a pendulum, and the pendulum is length 1.32 meters, and the pendulum is swinging back and forth, and we're told that the, um, well, we're also told later some other information. So just to begin with, what is the time? Now everybody knows this from their lab report number two. T equals two pi root L over G. So T is two pi root 1.32 over 9.81. You got it for me? Two, what was it like, 2.30 or something? Yeah, zero, zero, zero. zero or one or something, okay. Now the next part is what is the acceleration of the pendulum if its amplitude is that? So what they're saying here is uh, they're giving me the amplitude here as it's swinging back and forth. They're saying that the amplitude, this is A and A, uh, is 32.6 millimeters. What's the name of this type of motion here where it's going Left, yeah, left, right, left, right, left, right. That simple harmonic motion. So you have formulas for simple harmonic motion. Um, you have a formula that maximum acceleration equals a omega squared, or whatever. Uh, so we can get the omega because we can use the formula t equals 2 pi over omega. So if we want you can put that in or find the number. Um, well, no, I'll, I'll, I'll rewrite it. So that means omega is 2 pi over t. So I can put that in and I get the answer is a 2 pi over t squared. And we have the A, it is 32.6 millimeters. We have the 2 pi, and we have the time. And I got 0 0.2 four tray meters per second squared. And the next part, part uh, tray, I call it C, is what is the maximum velocity. And the formula for that from simple harmonic motion is just A omega. So that one would be 32.6 10 to the minus 3, 2 pi over 2.3. And I got 0 0.0891 meters per second. Um, okay. So that's A2 gone.